Welcome to PMPA's Final Cut of the Week, where we share important information you may have missed while you were making essential parts. I'm Kate Carella-Smith. And I'm Miles Free. This is what you need to know for the week ending March 10th, 2023. The United States Bureau of Labor Statistics reported that non-farm business sector labor productivity increased 1.7% in the fourth quarter of 2022 as output increased 3.1% and hours worked increased 1.4%. These are seasonally adjusted numbers. This 1.7% increase in labor productivity for the fourth quarter of 2022 is 1.3 percentage points below the preliminary estimate of a 3.0% increase. Non-farm business sector unit labor costs increased 3.2% in the fourth quarter of 2022, reflecting a 4.9% increase in hourly compensation and a 1.7% increase in productivity. Unit labor costs increased 6.3% over the last four quarters. Our take? The increase in labor costs were largely responsible for the productivity downgrade reported. While the decline is undeniable, the productivity indicator remains positive and growing, though lower than expected. According to the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis, exports of goods increased $324 billion in 2022. For perspective, that is roughly 16 times the total annual output of our precision machining industry of $20 billion. The largest increases included capital goods, up by $51 billion, and automotive vehicles, parts and engines increased $14 billion. Imports also increased in 2022 at $415 billion. That's roughly 20 times our industry production, which includes a $104 billion increase in capital goods and $52 billion increase in automotive vehicles, parts and engines. Surpluses were seen in the South and Central America, Netherlands, Hong Kong, Brazil, Singapore, Australia, and the United Kingdom. The top five deficits were seen with China, the EU, Mexico, Vietnam, and Canada. Good news! We have opened registration for our award-winning mastery program. This program is designed to expose our precision machining performers to their industry supply chain. It's an unparalleled experience designed to develop a problem-solving skills and empower precision machining teams with system knowledge. Our two bus tours will be held in the Cincinnati, Ohio area from July 21st to the 22nd and in the New England area from September 13th through the 15th. Attendees will experience five PMPA member shops, four machine tool equipment builders, two tool makers, one steel mill, one bar grinder, one machine monitoring company, one CAD CAM software company, one industry media company, an electroplater, and a metalworking fluid compounder. Both PMPA manufacturing members and contract manufacturing non-members are welcome. Seats fill up quickly, so register today on pmpa.org. Get to know your Speaking of Precision podcast team. In this week's podcast, Miles Free and Carly Kissler Miller welcome David Wynn to the team as they share stories of their journey to manufacturing, their hobbies, education, and more. Our Speaking of Suppliers podcast interviews Jack Horner from Veland Chase as he discusses sustainability, recycling, properties, and product advantages of the various machining brass and bronze products from Veland Chase. Our podcast can be found on major podcast platforms or on pmpa.org. Now it's time for our weekly tip. An improperly defined repeatability and reproducibility R&R program can drain a company of resources and reduce the effectiveness of the shop. ISO TS 16949-2009 states that variation studies, quote, shall apply to measurement systems referenced in the control plan, unquote. To discover a logical approach to handling this requirement, go to pmpa.org's Knowledge Centers or Final Cut of the Week. And that's our take on what you need to know for the week ending March 10, 2023. 
For additional information and links about any of the topics discussed today, go to pmpa.org and click on Final Cut of the Week. Thanks for checking in, and we'll see you next Friday.